So think about that. Um, this is just a reminder that today after school, we'll be advanced polling at 345 in Main Hall until 430. Everyone is encouraged to vote. You have to bring your student card or a copy of your timetable. And as well, tomorrow during periods 2 and 3 is the same thing. So, without further ado, let's get to the candidates. Up first, we have the presidential candidates. The president is responsible for acting as a liaison between the administration and the student body, as well as chairing SAC meetings, organizing card day, and being there for each and every single student in the school to ensure that they have an awesome year. Give it up for your candidates. It's important to be united. 
United like Bonnie and Clyde. United like the Brady Bunch. United like the Breakfast Club. You join me in the United Arrowhead, and you can be the peanut butter to my jelly, or the butterflies I feel in my belly. We'll only go one way next year, and that's the United Way with Alicia Fay. Because you work it, learn it. Bye. 
hands. Vote for me! Uh, hello, I'm Ethan Goodell. And years ago I was really into first meeting. No, I was into yo-yo. I could walk the dog, I could go around the world, and I, I really liked yo-yoing, so I, I decided I'd make a club. I went to the teacher, I said, can I make a yo-yo club? And she said, no. That's an awful idea. <laughs> no one should ever have to feel what I felt on that day. <laughs> there was no worse feeling than having a club so coldly rejected, which is why I was elected. I promise. And I will try my best to make sure that all of you have the same experience with club rejection as I did. I will be the best club that I've ever had ever. Vote even.
You guys may not know this, but my other two hobbies are music and magic, and I want to show you guys something. Watch my shirt.
now that I'm almost there, I guess it's my turn to stare. <laughs> but I could win this election. I can make everyone feel welcome with a rocking battle band and an awesome coffee house. Vote Nick Chang for Arts Rep. Okay, so the next candidates, the next candidates are all about the school spirit. The soft club is in charge of running the three soft assembly each year, as well as promoting school spirit with, with the spirit days and the spirit week. So here are your candidates. Woo! Hey guys, my name is Athena. Yes, like the Greek goddess, but no, I'm not Greek, nor am I a goddess. I'm just a spirited individual who wants to be your soft rep. So, what does socks really mean to you, Head? I mean, about 80% of you are probably going to say socks assemblies. I mean, that's true, because any assembly that gets you out of class for spirit ass has to be the best excuse for an assembly ever. But socks is so much more than that. Socks is every single day that we're at this school. Socks is what keeps this place half as interesting as it is. This school is our anemone. And though I'm not your classic clownfish, I am a carp, and a ferocious one at that. So go with Mia, and let's just keep swimming, head. <laughs> the staff office. When I was just a young grasshopper every night, I heard all these rumors about it. Heard that there was a snowball machine and a secret arcade inside. And then came the day when I finally got to go in. And all that it was was a dirty, filthy, ten square inch closet. I cried that night, I was so disappointed. And so if you ever even think about coming into the sack office, trust me, you don't want to. Watching grass grow is more exciting than being in there. I mean, sometimes Rudy is shirtless in there, so that's always pretty exciting. And this one time, Camille broke a nail and we cried about it for five minutes, so that was pretty scary. And so please, spare the other candidates from the board and disappointment that they will face in the staff office and vote him for Scott's rep. School spirit! I'll be your friend and a good listener. I'll lay your hand as your coordinator. But only if you vote for me. Someone with fresh ideas you got it. And have the same much you got it. I'll give you all my energy you got it. If you give me your trust. But only if you vote for me. And then me. I would be thrilled to represent you all. To be your voice, but not just for singing. I can be loud. I can be tactful. I can be persuasive and very helpful. And I want to be with staff and make things even better. Take a chance on a new candidate. You will not be disappointed. Vote for me, me Lan Lee. I'm the one with an accent on the E. Alright, so the next next up are our junior mayor candidates. The junior mayor represents grade 9 and 10 and they run junior council and hold a junior assembly. And here they are. Why is this convenient? Because when I'm junior mayor, I'm building a beach in the school. I'm also building a ski resort in a basin and I'm giving you all your own Mercedes. How is this going to happen? Well, I'm one of those hyper people I've been meeting and I get things done. I'm also a very serious person, you guys, so if any of you are out of line, I will find you. I'm also very approachable, so if anyone has a problem, I'll give them a hug, ask to be their best friend, and then they can tell me their problem, which they won't with me as junior mayor. So vote for me! Y'all have a new best friend and the best year ever! <laughs> Let me start off with a question for y'all. What is the perfect junior mayor? Me, Cindy Chen. And I have three reasons why. One, I'm awesome. Two, I'm awesome. And three, I'm awesome. No, I'm kidding. But seriously, you guys should vote for me as your junior mayor because I'm organized, responsible, and I have a very passionate heart. On the other hand, I love to have fun and I have an extremely bubbly personality. I can make you 
friends really easily, and I'm very approachable. My name is Cindy Chin, and I'm running for junior mayor. But Cindy Chin to win! Thank you. 